Hey all, this is Damien from DSLRnerd.com. I just got back my uh, Manfrotto video photo head. Um, officially the the 055 Mag Photo Movie Head Q5. Uh, and I bought this um, it was a Christmas gift. Uh, the the 055 Prob legs were a gift from my wife and my parents bought me this lovely photo uh, movie head. Um, and I played with it for about a month and used it once and noticed a terrible problem with um, with it. Um, there was some shakiness in um, in the head even when the pan lock uh, was totally locked up. So I just got it back from uh, Manfrotto Repair. So I thought I'd do just a quick uh, review on it to let you guys know what I thought. Um, I really like it. It's complicated though. It's not easy as a simple ball head if you're a photographer um, or a um, pan and tilt fluid head um, like I have. Um, I have a Davis and Sanford um, which my video camera is sitting on right now. So I wanted to try to get something that was kind of a combination of both for a person like myself who shoots video and shoots um, stills uh, sometimes at the same event I thought this would really come in handy. So I do like this quite a bit. Um, this is fully adjustable here. Uh, let's see if I can get in here without knocking stuff over but uh, you loosen this up and this comes off and you can position it around. You can also turn it around um, the opposite way. Uh, so that tightens back up like that. There is a little bit of play in this arm, as you can see. That's kind of annoying, and there's no way around it, really. It's just kind of the way this was built. So when you're moving, you don't feel it this way, but if you're tilting, then you definitely will notice that. So I'm not... That's just kind of an annoying thing um, that you'll get used to, but for $250, uh, I would have expected a little more from Manfrotto on that. Um, so that's one grievous. Um, I'm sure you've seen other videos on this guy. So you've got a pan tightening knob here. You've got a tilt uh, locking knob there. What this is and what that is, that is a uh, pan fine adjust and this is a tilt fine adjust. So if you are got it kind of in the ballpark of your uh, tilt, then you can move that little guy a little bit to, to tighten that up. I honestly don't see the point of those. I think it, you can adjust fine-tuning pretty, pretty well on both of these. I'm not sure what the reasoning f was um, from Manfrotto to have an extra little bit of minute adjustment in that. But that's what that does. Um, then you switch, if you want to go to photo mode, you'd switch this. You'd make sure that's loose and then this actually goes down. And um, if you start it down and you switch it back in the movie, this will lock when it gets down there. So you know you're right at vertical for a portrait shot. Um, the head itself, switch it back to photo so I can move that back up and I switch it to movie and it'll lock up there. Uh, the head itself has three levels in it, one, two, three, which is helpful. Uh, it comes with a three-quarter and quarter-inch thread, but it does not come with um, a little rubber stopper to plug in there after you take one of these out. So when you're not using this, you can have your little thread slide back there and fall out of this thing. So I put a little bit of gaffer tape under there um, to, to fix that issue. So you've got a, um, it's a nice push button locking head there has to go in this way so you've got a little uh, safety button there which is always good and then finally it has this guy here which is for um, kind of adjusting your your return to the top so if I'm It'll always kind of come back up to a it'll always kind of come back up to a to the position in which you set it at. You see what I just did? So 
if I have this like that's my normal and I flip this switch then that'll be where that tries to get back to and not so much the other way but when it's more level you can uh, you can have it do that so and if you turn that off it won't do that it'll just kind of stay where you put it see so pardon the lack of technical terms there uh, I've been flamed recently for not seeing the exact professional and technical term of something. Pardon me. So as you can see, I've just unscrewed the uh, three-quarter thread and I have the quarter-inch thread remaining. Um, and as I said, you have to watch this. And as I mentioned, you have to watch this because if you're uh, moving the tripod around, this just kind of slides over there and falls right out, this little quarter-inch. There it goes. The, uh, the three-quarter actually has to be threaded out. So you really need a rubber stopper there that Manfrotto does not provide. So here's another complaint some people had about this. Uh, when you get your camera on and you go to lock this, um, you can't because it hits the bottom of your camera here. And um, you can't really, when it's loose, pull this out and turn it and tighten it very well because it kind of turns with you when it's this loose. So really what you have to do is um, try to find this sort of fine balance of getting this tight and pushing this on to, um, to be where you want to kind of just lock it right there. So you know that's locked, okay? So let's come off that now that that's locked and the bolt will actually stay put you can pull this out and turn it and um, get it all the way to uh, where it's touching and then once you loosen it all the way around like that then this will go on and then turning this will fully lock it right about there so you kind of have to practice with that and um, and get it to a point where you can remove this reasonably with a couple of turns so I know that that's locked almost locked right there but my bolts tight enough now that I can kind of turn it and give it an extra little little tweak there so you just got to practice with that a little bit to get it um, but it is kind of annoying that when this is super loose um, you can't pull this you can't pull this guy and turn it because when it's super loose it'll just turn the bolt so practice with that a little bit and you'll get that down. Now you also, I talked about this little knob here which will return the, um, supposedly return the camera back to a point. You're also then going to have to adjust this weight um, quite carefully uh, to get this to a certain balance level. I know I've seen this done. This has to be loose. That goes on. Hmm. Well, maybe in theory that's supposed to work, but there it kind of worked. See, it kind of wanted to go back up. Uh, but with the heavy DSLR, and you got to get this to be balanced perfectly. Um, so you got to slide that back and forth to get uh, that perfectly balanced so that this return mechanism um, does what it's supposed to do. And with that, so that's all the filming I'm going to do tonight because my sinuses are totally blocked, my ears are totally plugged, and you could probably tell from my sexy, raspy voice that it's time to quit. So thanks for watching. Um, Hope I did enough of a review of that uh, Manfrotto uh, photo video head for you. Uh, there's others on the net if you want more information. Um, but I'm pretty happy with it despite uh, its couple of shortcomings. So uh, check out my blog at DSLRnerd.com and click my DSLR Nerd logo over here in the corner to um, subscribe to my channel. Thanks a lot. Have a good night.